Hey, we're back. Um, we're gonna make. Uh, we're just gonna knock these all out. Um, so this is this is number two of my uh, jam tracks uh, for Steve. So watch the first one. Um, and um, if you guys want to sort of have a, a little take on what I'm doing, hopefully this will work because uh, we're we're going off the cuff today. We don't have a lot of time um, in terms of sound. I hope my little computer speakers here. That's what I keep fiddling with the volume. Um, so here here's we're, here's what we're doing. Uh, a friend of mine from New Zealand sent me a couple of tracks. Um, this one is I don't know. I haven't heard this one yet. And he said, "What would you do on it, uh, Dan? What would you play? Give me some ideas." So I know this this fellow's uh, level. So I'm going to start with basic, and then the basic thing for all of us is to be able to make the the changes in a blues. So um, check out. There's a lot of really great videos. Um, Adam's got some really good ones on how to make the 12 bar progression. Basically, um, it's a pattern of 12 bars from the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Um, I really don't have, you know, I think I think the, the information is out there, so uh, I really don't think it's necessary for me to go through my own whole 12-bar explanation. But um, let's see, this one's in G2, so I've got a C harp, and uh, let's see what we got. I'm just going to play it one time through, just, just off, off my, never heard it before, and then um, I'll break it down for easier and then harder, maybe see what we can do. Okay, so it's just a little shuffle, right? That's all there is to it. All right, it's a shuffle in G. So what do we do? What do we do? Okay, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. Um, first thing we do is we 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 realize that it's a 12-bar blues in G. Okay. Change five two three four six two three change seven two three four eight two change nine two three. So we know that it's one 12 bar progression that's all he gave me to work with so what do we do on the harmonica we carve out the changes with our root notes for the one chord which is uh two draw or the six blow and um the root notes for the four chord which could be one blow or four blow and then for the five chord when it goes la 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 okay um you listen to it guys you have to listen to blues to get this thing down um, the five chords, so then we're going to go to the one or four draw to do that. So let's let's see if we can carve this out real quick. No matter what the rhythm is, you gotta feel that two, three, ba da na na ba da ba da ba da na na. Okay, so that's the basics. We always need to make sure that we're aware, at least as beginners, um, that there is a pattern that we know the notes to play over the pattern, and then from there, um, taking our licks and applying them to the pattern. So it's if you've got a lick. Um, you can change that lick to ending on the correct note to carve out the change. Um, but let's let's keep it simple here. So I'm going to go back to some really basic stuff that I taught in most of my lessons, which is a, a simple up and down lick, a two hole shake, and then um, what I call the, the the James Cotton lick. Okay, and that's all I'm going to try to use in this and see if I can if I can play through one more time. <laughs> That's all I did was I went, wait a minute, three, uh, three blow, three draw, four blow, four draw, and then I did a shake, a uh, four, five draw, and then I did my little lick, which is, um, that's a five, 
That's the four. Draw. The five blow. Five draw, four draw, five blow. <laughs> okay, here's uh, here's me playing again, uh, simply. Wait, go back, go back. to bring up um, while we're doing this um, is the blues scale, right? The six blow, five draw, four draw, four draw bent, four blow, three draw bent a half step. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do this time. You guys watch those other videos. Um, I'm not a pro like those guys trying to make uh, an extra living on, on YouTube and I, and I respect those folks that, that, that want to do that made that decision uh, I keep a, a pretty pretty tough day job um, so that I don't have to make money with harmonica lessons and so I don't give as much um, so that those guys can can get the attention and, and make make the dough they're trying to make because they're they're uh, <clears throat> you know they're, they're doing the work for it and I, I don't have the time so so that go watch some videos by Adam and, and maybe by Ronnie and stuff and, and get an idea of 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 uh, and Jason gives it out too what the, what the blues scale is or look it up I mean this is not a watch and learn this is a watch and do so if you do things and you lock the door and you play the harmonica you'll get better if you don't if you just sit there and watch videos you will know how to talk about the harmonica and that that's it doesn't do us any good so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to keep only those notes of that scale to show you. Oh, that's the that's the pentatonic. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna play right in there, and that's 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 pretty much where your safe zone is. You know, when you're playing this stuff. the two draw bent um because I really love that note but I mean there it is there's that scale so you learn the scale okay that's the pentatonic scale you just you just don't bend the four so that's the difference there you try to get that three bent just a little bit here unbent You want to get that, uh, what is that, the blue third that Adam talks about? So one more time, just try to play in the blue scale. So that's that's all I'm doing there. All right. So that's uh, make we did making the changes on that one. We did how I played it once without hearing it, and we did um, using the using the blues scale uh, a little bit. So I'm gonna play it one more time to keep this short, and uh, we'll got one more video to go for this series. So hopefully this is uh, this is helping Steve. Shout out to uh, my my man down under. All right. Let's see. <laughs> See if we can put this one up and uh, one more to go. All right, guys. Check out number three coming soon.